Hit it out with a couple of mates to chase some tail on a Friday night. Most of my catch was brought in by a double clutch. I was originally using medals, but the bloke down the jetty was doing pretty well on um, a hard body, so I chucked on my double clutch. I had the one to three kilo rod with four pound braid and six pound leader. The fish ranged from about 28 to 34 centimeters. Caught about six all up, managed to land four size ones, which wasn't too bad for the Swan River. Taylor are schooling fish and they're all caught in about 20 minutes of each other. The fish pretty much started biting on sunset or just on dark. I had a quick cook up of a few billets at night and used the rest to make uh, tempura the next day. Cut all the fillets into bite-sized portions and try to cut off all the red meat and uh, try to cut out the bloodlines. I sieved about half a cup of flour or three quarters of a cup of flour and dusted all the fillets. After dusting the fillets I added a bit of salt and pepper. I try to use like powdered pepper because it just cooks a bit better when you're doing a batter. I uh, also added about a tablespoon of corn flour and half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. Usually you have ice cold water and whisk it up with an egg. Unfortunately I didn't have any ice so I did the old trick of wrapping a glass of water up with a cold uh, paper towel and chucking it in the freezer. It makes it go cold a lot quicker. So I just put that with the egg, gave it a whisk. With tempura batter you don't want to whisk it up with an actual whisk. You just want to use a fork or some chopsticks or whatnot. And you slowly add it in the mixture until it's the right consistency. You want it to stick to your finger where you have to actually shake off the batter. You'll see in a second. It's still a pretty thin batter compared to uh, other sort of like beer battered fish. That seems about right. You can use a batter to check the temp of oil. When it bounces off the bottom and goes to the top, it's usually ready. Just run it off in batches. Our trick for crispy edges is to uh, Sprinkle a little bit of the batter over the top of the fillet so you chuck into the pan. You'll see in a second. Just go on the classic QP mayo with some of my homemade pickles. I like to use a little bit of the dill from the pickle jar as well. Dill always goes good with fish. Went down a tree. For more Swan River and Perth Metro fishing, please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments section.